In today's episode, I'm going to explain why 12-week transformations do not work. It's an unpopular opinion, and there'd be a lot of coaches who would argue otherwise. But if you're looking to build genuine consistency and stay in shape year-round, or more to the point, you've never been that person who has been able to maintain consistency across not just this year, but back-to-back years, then it's highly likely at some point you've tried a 12-week transformation, four-week transformation, eight weeks, maybe 16 weeks, maybe even half a year. But the reality is if you're not where you want to be, you haven't been taught what you need to know across a whole calendar year or longer in some cases. And full transparency, I've been the coach that has, in my younger days, done, I think it was a six-week, six or eight-week summer shreds program when I first started online coaching. Uh, It was a fantastic program to get people ripped rapidly. Problem. When I followed up with many of the guys who did the program, months later, they were were out of shape again. And I'm going to explain in this episode why. I've got some notes to keep this as concise as possible uh, because this this episode was partly inspired by a a massive response to a post that I put out on social media recently where I again, documented 12-week transformations do not work. But I, I sort of listed why and didn't really give context because there was, there was so much I sort of shared on what a 12-week transformation can do and what a 12-week transformation can't do when it comes to creating lasting change. So if you are someone that wants the quick fix but then wants to continually yo-yo and has no aspirations of staying in shape once you've built that body, built that body composition, had that energy, had that confidence, if you're someone who wants to go backwards and wants a forever yo-yo, then this episode is not for you. But if you are someone who is listening to this, maybe evaluating year just now, because this is this is launched actually in December, and you're evaluating the year and scratching your head again as to why you haven't been able to maintain consistency with, with your food, your training, and as a result of that, you've not looked the way you wanted to consistently across all the months of the year, and you can't quite put your finger on it. And you may have been someone also that is working with a PT or an online coach, or has worked with a PT or an online coach, maybe for a four, eight, 12-week transformation, maybe even longer, okay? Um, and, and you're still scratching your head going, why is this? And I believe... What gives me full authority to speak with so much conviction about what I'm about to share today is my program is called Built to Last. It's lasting change. If you look at any of our results, these guys work with us for minimum 12 months. But the difference is once these guys have worked with us, they know exactly what they need to to do, exactly how they need to live, train, eat in the real world to keep the results they've built, especially when, as I've said on many episodes, they've got partners, they've got kids, they've got travel, they've got life, they have business, they have people to think about and responsibilities to uphold. So that's that. And also I've been in shape now for the best part of three decades, well, my whole life, in fact, but my adult life, best part of three decades, I know what works. And that's having moved from Coventry to London, London to Dubai, adapted my meal frequency, um, long story short, adapted my system around my lifestyle but still being able to stay in peak shape, irrelevant of how old I am. I'm 40 now. So I know what works. And as I've been very honest about, I wouldn't have been able to um, get the results I do now with the methods and the short-term transformation principle that I, I, I used in my 20s and even early 30s, okay? So I'm just gonna list what you can do in a 12-week period. What you can do is progress. You can see great physical progress. So as much as I've just said to you that in Built to Last, we pride ourselves on creating lasting change, giving people an answer for all seasons, helping them look and feel good year-round and play the long game, you can make unbelievable progress in the first 30 to 90 days. There's been many of our clients that have dropped anywhere from 10 to 20 pound, if not more in the first 30 days 
um, 50 to 60 pounds, you know, for the bigger guys that have joined us in the first 90 days, but it still doesn't solve the problem um, long term. Okay, especially if someone has come to us with um, more years of body fat accumulated, more body weight accumulated, and years of bad habits. The longer those habits have been in play, the longer that weight gain has been a part of that person's identity. It doesn't. It doesn't shift this in twelve weeks. But what you can do, as I've said, you can make great physical progress. Keyword physical. You can also drop, and this ties in with that point, I suppose. You can drop enormous amounts of body fat. You can build muscle. You can build strength. You can stick to a calorie deficit. It's a lot easier to stick to a calorie deficit over a four, eight, 12 week period because it's short term. There's, there's sort of an end in sight. So motivation can, can be a, a main driving factor over that four, eight, 12 week period. You can feel motivated, especially if you've invested in a coach or maybe you've got a a short-term deadline to, to to strive for. It could be a holiday, it could be a wedding, special occasion. Simply put, it's it's an occasion that you you know you have to look good in your own mind to to, to enjoy that experience or moment. And you can, in a 12-week period, eat out less with again that motivation. It's a lot easier to say to yourself, right, the next 12 weeks I'm not gonna I'm not I'm not gonna eat out much because I want I want to see the I want to hit this goal. Right? Problem is, it's all short term. And as I'm going to come on to now, and this is where I want to add some context today, is these things I've just shared in the first 12 weeks, it's like the short bit bouts of, of dopamine, that, 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 that feel-good hormone, that, that instant gratification, that, that, that short, tangible, um, shiny object. But although this isn't sexy, it's not what people want to hear, there is enormous amounts of people on this earth that have done copious amounts of 12 week transformations, copious amounts of personal training sessions, but they're still not where they want to be. So if you're on your late thirties, forties, fifties, and sixties, trust me, the 12 week transformation, getting the right 12 week transformation for you is not the problem. Now I'm going to come on to why in a 12 week transformation, you can't guarantee you'll have year-round consistency. How do I know this to be true? If you've never had year-round consistency, the reason you can't guarantee you're going to have year-round consistency after a 12-week transformation, the time of the year and the duration of 12 weeks in that time of the year, you've only evidence that you can eat well, train well, stick to your deficit, basically implement the plan, do what you need to do. You've only demonstrated, you've only done it for that 12 week period. And from my experience, one of the reasons you've not been able to master consistency or one of the reasons so many clients have come to us and not been able to make master consistency, they have habitual patterns of poor behavior and poor choices at different seasons and months of the year. So if you've kicked off your 12-week transformation journey, for example, January, February, March, right? That's your 12-week transformation. You finished it. But habitually, your danger periods of the year where your eating's gone to shit or standards have dropped where you're training or you've not moved as much or more socializing, life's got in the way. For many people, that's different months of the year, April onwards, and certainly across the summer, across the winter. Equally on the flip side, if you start a 12-week transformation at the back end of the year, like October, November, December, if you know you've had habitual patterns of behavior, you've had that reactive behavior or certain periods of the year where stressed, you're highly stressed on, say, the other months of the year, it might be April, it might be across the summer, whatever it is, then you still don't know how to handle those periods of the year efficiently, irrelevant of you boxing off a perfect perfect 12-week transformation across say October, November, December. So 12 weeks just doesn't cut the mustard 
if you have habitual patterns and multiple months where you have enough evidence over the last few years, possibly even decades, that you can't be consistent or aren't as consistent as what you want to be in given months. And as I said towards the start of this podcast episode, if you are not someone that wants consistent health, consistent great shape, consistent energy, consistent confidence, because I believe energy, more energy you have, more confident you feel, then this is the wrong episode to listen to. But if you are sick to death genuinely of these yo-yos, these patterns, please hear me out for the rest of, the rest of this episode. Well, the second point, <laughs> I've just already jumped into that already. Um, yeah, a 12 week transformation, just more pinpointly put, uh, doesn't doesn't allow you to get total control of bad habits you've had for years, especially habitual ba- behavior patterns outside of that 12 weeks. And I might sound like a broken record, keep saying that, but this is the thing that people need to cement in their mind. Which months, which periods of the year do you have habitual patterns that just come back, resurface, no matter what you do? Clearly, something you're doing across those months isn't working. The way your life is set up to manage your food, your training, your movement, your mindset, your sleep, etc., isn't congruent or complementary to the body, health, and energy you want to live with. So something has to change. And if you're not doing your 12-week transformation during that specific period, you're relying on hope. And we all know that doesn't work. If you're not where you want to be and you want to be, then it's a skill issue or an environment issue, as I'll talk about. The next one you can't do in in a 12-week transformation is truly condition new habits. It's okay establishing a habit, but you need to optimize the habit. For a habit to stick, not saying be perfect, it has to be something that you do naturally without thinking about it. It's how you live, it's how you operate, and it's ingrained into your identity that that habit is just a natural way of thinking. It's a natural way of doing within your day, within your week, within your month. There would be things that uh, you are or you consider yourself to be fantastic at and habits for many entrepreneurs and business owners listen to this. They would have habits or you would have habits where you feel unbelievable. You feel on point. You feel certain because you've conditioned that habit over and over a time. You've got the reps in. You've mastered the skill. You've optimized the skill. You've repeated it over and over again. And the same applies to your health, fitness, food, lifestyle management. It's okay establishing a habit, which you can do in 12 weeks, but you can't condition something as something is what you do within a 12-week period, in my opinion. I'm yet to see it. I'm yet to see it. I've had people over the years that, that think they've made it after 12 weeks, tried to float their own ship, and then they've come back because they, they haven't conditioned that new habit as part of them and part of what they do. So you're on borrowed progress and often a rent-a-body uh, approach. The next one you can't do it within a 12-week period is learn how to eat out at all friends and family's birthdays unless they were within that 12-week period that you did your transformation. Think about all the people you love, all the people you spend time with, their birthdays, their special occasions, not all of them are going to be within that 12-week transformation period. And yes, you can learn certain principles perhaps within a 12-week transformation period under the right coaching system, but we all have people, places, environments that where we naturally want to overconsume and drink. And remember, one of the reasons people aren't where they want to be physically or they're overweight is because they haven't controlled their decision-making in certain environments. As a, as a result, people have put on weight they're unhealthy, they don't look how they want to. And one of the things you need to do if you are truly trying to master staying in shape and get, you know, long-term is know how to navigate your social occasions and and, and eating out periods with, with your family, friends, all the people basically that, that you work hard for to spend time with and eat good food with, etc. You can't do it in a 12-week period. You, you really can't um, because, as I said, it's just unless you are an isolated case where you've had all your favorite birthdays within a 12-week period, you you don't have evidence that you can control, uh, you know, your eating decisions and your alcohol across a 52-week period with all the people that you, you might have temptations with, okay? 
over a longer period, you can do this. Then a big one, a big one, especially in entrepreneurs, business owners, high performers in the business sense anyway. A 12-week transformation doesn't lose an all-or-nothing mentality. It simply doesn't. If someone has had an all-or-nothing mentality for years, which I've got that trait in abundance, by the way, so there's zero judgment, an all-or-nothing mentality for years, especially when it comes to alcohol, tapered it down, got control on that now, but can still <laughs> turn the screw on that at any given moment, as uh, my, 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 my partner Gabby and, and friends will vouch for. Um, so there is zero judgment if you, can, if you consider yourself someone with an all-or-nothing all or nothing mentality. But I'm just here to tell you that a 12-week transformation does not, does not eradicate an all-or-nothing mentality. It doesn't. And if you doubt my judgment on that, how many times have you done a 12-week transformation, gone all in, and then you've come to that end of that transformation, thought you've made it, or you've had this almighty come down afterwards because you don't have the structure then or you don't have the same motivation and it's and you go revert back to type because you have an, have an inability to have a minimum uh, case scenario where you're training where even if you can't do something perfect, you still get maybe three sort of short, shorter sessions in. Even if you can't follow the perfect meal plan, you still know how to ha navigate your habits and guidelines and, and box clever with your food in the real world. Losing the all or nothing mentality is absolutely imperative if you want to be in shape every month, every year. Because again, at the time of this episode, it's mid-December. Can you honestly say you've had a week, a month where everything went perfect in business, everything went perfect in relationship, everything went perfect with your kids? You, know, you didn't have no curveballs because anyone can eat well, train well, live well, look after their health when conditions are perfect. There's no curveballs, there's nothing going on. I, don't, I, I, I physically can't remember a, a client I've ever worked with that, that's had that scenario. So for me, the best clients that we've ever worked with have really bought into the fact that the all or nothing mentality with your health and fitness doesn't work. It doesn't work. And they've developed the mentality now to know what to do to have maintenance months. So it might not be optimal in terms of um, getting, all their, getting all their sessions in or training for as long or eating as perfectly, but they still have a minimum non-negotiable standard that has allowed, to keep, allowed them to stay disciplined, keep healthy, keep energized, and keep them happy, more importantly. Um, but just to reiterate, 12-week transformations do not help you lose an all or nothing mentality. Um, if you broke the mold on that, then amazing, but I'm yet to see it. The last few, uh, a 12-week transformation doesn't create an environment that will support your new habits across a calendar year. And you notice there's a common, th common theme here of me trying to sort of really um, use certain terminology like calendar year, seasons, year round, because this is the mentality that has to happen if you have aspirations of not just being in shape for the next 12 months, but for the next two, three, four, five decades, however old you are and however long you would love to be on this earth for. Because this is really, really important to me because so many people are being failed by quick fix, short, short term solutions that are fucking people up, affecting their energy, and then they're just drifting into no man's land. And then they're unhappy, doubting they whether or not they can um, you know, truly succeed in this health game. It's not complicated, believe me. But just going back to this point about creating an environment that will support your new habits across the calendar year, a 12 week transformation can't do that. It simply can't. You might be have a you might be able to create an environment that is conducive to eating better, training better, um, being disciplined, being on it in abbreviated terms in a twelve week period. But in order for new habits to stick, that better way of eating and training to stick, you must have an environment that supports those new habits and new, that new identity that you've created short term within that twelve week period. Otherwise, you will eventually conform to the standards, the habits, and no doubt the identity of the environment that created body fat, poor shape, poor confidence, poor habits in the first place. A powerful environment, which is reflective of the identity and the new habits you've built when it comes to your health, will make implementing 
better food, training harder, moving well, so much easier and help you condition that new way of living and the new way you want to see yourself. And I, I don't mean to be patronizing and say, if you listen to this, that you're broken, you're not. If you've achieved great success in business or you've been married, you've had kids, you've demonstrated, you've got commitment, you've got, you've got grit, you can succeed if you put your mind to something. But if you are physically looking in the mirror right now and you're not happy and you can't control your eating urges or you are on it off with your training, trust me, these things around identity and conditioning new habits, new behaviors, a new way of living are absolutely essential if the pieces of the puzzle that created progress in a first 12-week transformation are to stick long-term. They have to stick, okay? Then another thing a 12-week transformation can't do, it cannot optimize health. It cannot optimize health metrics, bloods, bones, liver, because unfortunately, 12-week transformation, for example, might be, might be able to improve your blood markers over a 12-week period, which we really encourage all of our clients now to get their bloods done regularly so we see what is going on behind the hood. Because it's all right to look good, but if the internal stuff is, is not healthy, then we're going to have problems, especially as we age. It's something I'm really, really passionate about and aware, about, aware of now. Same with bones. As we age, whether we like it or not, we lose muscle, our bones degenerate, but there are preventative things we can do to stay on the front foot with this. But it's not something that you can just do within a 12-week period because you might kick off a 12-week transformation, get your bloods done, get your body composition done, get your bones done, get your liver tested. Then you f implement these habits, this new plan. You, 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 you get your training in, get your sleep done, drink water, all that stuff. And then at the end of 12 weeks, your blood markers, your bones, your body composition tests all come back like you're flying. But then if you haven't sustained these for the remaining nine months of the year, all those health metrics could, could easily fall backwards very, very quickly. Unfortunately, you can't take a day off from looking after your organs. Unfortunately, you can't take a day off from looking after all of the fundamental things that keep, our, keep us alive and keep us healthy. Okay? But you can learn these things with guidance, with structure, with support of genuine experts across a calendar year to keep you just as healthy internally with how you want to look and feel externally with your actual body shape. You can do both. You just can't do it in a 12-week period. Then the last two. In a 12-week 12 week, 12 week transformation period, you cannot become as disciplined as you need to be to stay in shape for 365 days per year. The one thing you must have as a trait, as something hardwired into your DNA, if you're someone who wants to be in shape year round, is discipline. You must see yourself as a disciplined person because one of the most common things that I see on people applying to work with us on application forms and things like that is people, they're lacking motivation or their motivation is up, it's down, it's up, it's down. And that just comes back to my point that I've shared, you know, at the start of this, the things you can't do within a 12 week period is you can't rely on motivation. Motivation might be the initial pain driver to uh, really get your head in the game, follow a meal plan for the first 12 weeks, get your sessions in, get your steps done. Um, might be, there might be an even bigger motivation if you've spent money, hundreds, thousands on that 12 week transformation, but it's still, well, fall and evaporate into thin air if, if you don't develop and condition the trait of discipline. That has to be shaped over a 365 day period. It doesn't need to be perfect and far from perfect. Even our greatest clients are far from perfect, but they are, they are disciplined, disciplined enough to never have a period where they are really compromising their health or it's negatively impacting their expectations of the health, body, and energy they want to live with. All right, 12 week transformation, all that proves is you've been disciplined for 12 weeks. If you haven't been able to master consistency or feel good about your body 
for 12 months of the year, discipline is a problem and that takes time. What I mean by discipline, even discipline of after, say, making a fuck up, you've, you've, you might have overeaten one day or had a big night out um, or had a period where you, your travel has just affected your training. That's fine. But what we want to develop and what you need to develop, if, if this is you, is the trait of being as disciplined as you can with the circumstances you have available to you and not burying your head in the sand if you've had a few days where you couldn't be perfect, tying in with the all or nothing mentality again, okay? All or nothing mentality for me, like especially when it comes to health and food, it just shows you're either disciplined or you're not disciplined. And I think if you're a true leader, you're a true entrepreneur, then if you've demonstrated that you've had discipline in your business, because I'm yet to coach an entrepreneur who wants to be off it or ill-disciplined in their business, you've got it inside you. But this takes time to build when it comes to health and food, because I think food, food, especially sugar processed food and alcohol especially is like a drug. And it's very hard to, to stay supremely disciplined with these things because um, no one's really stopping you to eat or drink. Um, they're very easily accessible and they're very easy to see in certain environments. Um, you know, there's so much marketing things out there now, especially when it comes to food. So discipline does take time. Lastly, shift identity. I talk about identity a lot and I have already in this episode. Um, identity is really important to me because I really believe in my heart that everything we do is a vote for the person we're trying to become. Everything we do is a vote for the life we want to live, not just for ourselves, but for other people. Okay, so if we haven't shifted identity, where being in great shape, seeing herself as someone who is strong, fit, confident, and a healthy person, if we don't see herself as that person, or see herself as that, you know, uh, physically strong person, someone with a great body, not just a good body, then eventually you're going to conform to the description of yourself and the perception of yourself and the perception maybe that you believe other people have of you that you've had for years. Because one of the strongest forms in the human race is the need to remain consistent with how we've described ourselves to ourselves, and the perception we believe others have of us for a number of years. I, it gives us a sense of certainty when we, we've saw ourselves and described ourselves as a certain way. So when we are trying to really see ourselves as that more disciplined person, that person who's in great shape, that person who is a genuine on it. Something I feel so passionate about. 12 week transformation, you can make unbelievable progress, build strength, d develop habits, you know, feel good about yourself. But all you have proved is you can stick to a calorie deficit if your goal is to drop fat during that period. Get your sessions in, get your steps in, probably look after your sleep, your water during that period. But you haven't, you haven't proved that you are that person inside and out. And I say more inside because I've seen many people that have changed unbelievable across a 12-week period physically, but their emotional development their mental development, their identity, their beliefs have not caught up. And when there is a, the bigger the gap, sorry, the bigger the gap from someone's physical external ident identity and the, the internal emotional identity, the bigger the gap, the, the, the quicker it is to rebound and conform back to that identity that you see in yourself. is where you go on these health sprints, you train well, eat well for four, eight, 12 weeks, look good for a week or two, and then you back off. That's fine. The, the thing that's going to be your key KPI is whether or not that system works for you is how happy are you or how happy have you been in the last 12 months with your energy, with your confidence, with your mood, with who you bring into a relationship, the, 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 the person you bring into your business, how happy are you? If you're really happy, great. Or do you know in your heart you could have been happier, could have looked better, 
could have had more consistency with your performance and work because your energy levels, if, if you're not happy with that answer, please, by all means, you can use a 12 week transformation to do your kickstart, but you need the other things in place that I've spoke about today. Okay. So if you are someone that is desperately um, sort of craving, put an end to, you know, this yo-yo and once and for all, revisit this podcast, study all of my other podcasts that I've entrepreneurs, basically people who have a lot on their plate to think about when it comes to work, a lot of people in their life they need to provide for and be a good role model for, and they simply don't want to waste the decision-making and bandwidth, um, you know, when it comes to their training, food, movement, health, and that's what we take care of. So if you're someone who's stuck and you don't want another year of feeling the way you do and you don't want to be in the same position or worse next year, reach out to me. I'd love to be able to help. But if nothing else... Thank you so much for your time for this podcast. Keep absorbing all of my free content. I know what works. You know, you see it in our results. And, um, you know, you, you, you don't have to just settle for mediocrity if you know you're capable of more. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll see you next time.